Previously on the Hassowells. Welcome to Albury. Oh, look at that thing. Mm, really soft. That's so rare and gluten free food. I don't know if I've ever had a, a slow gin and tonic in my life. I'm gonna have more of it, just not today. This is a very exciting moment for us on our channel. We've never actually booked a hotel room, so we couldn't do a room tour. Look at all these cool windows. Double story, huge windows. Got a Hume Dam pale ale. It is delicious. Mm hmm, mm hmm. After our lovely stay at the Manor House in Albury, we have come downtown for breakfast at a place called Mr. Benedict. So it has to be good, right? The beef's toasty with bacon, egg, aloe, spinach. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I have my Mr. Benedict. My Mr. Salmon Benedict. I have got myself a cheesy bacon waffle, which I cannot believe is gluten free. And would you just look at this masterpiece? They said you've got to put the maple syrup all over it because it marries all the flavors together. So I guess I better do it. Oh no, that's too big for my mouth. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be messy. That is very good. If you come to Albury, you should come here and try this because it's a masterpiece. So it's a cheesy bacon waffle that's actually topped with popcorn chicken, which is gluten free, which is amazing in itself. With sriracha mayo and with the maple syrup as well, that little bit of sweetness with the spice of the sriracha and the delicious coating on the popcorn chicken. Oh, this is so good. You wouldn't know it's gluten free either. Just get it, trust me. <laughs> So we've come to the Kinross Woolshed, which is east of Albury, northeast, uh, near Thaguna, which is a suburb. It's an amazingly huge pub. It used to be a woolshed years ago, and they've still got original paraphernalia hanging around on the walls everywhere. We'll have dinner here tonight. Around here, we can see a few cool toilet signs and an original wool press and wool scales. And it's also a venue for many touring acts that come through. They uh, sometimes play on a stage indoors or on a, on a big truck stage back here on the grass on the lawn. All right. Yes, I'm so happy. I've gone the Hawaiian schnitzel. Look at this, whole pieces of pineapple. Oh, this is gonna be good. It was a toss up between the buffalo schnitzel, which was would be buffalo sauce on a schnitzel, but this, this all that fruit. Mm-mm. Oh. I got myself some salt and pepper calamari again. It seems like everywhere in Albury's gluten-free option is the salt and pepper calamari, so that's what I'm going with. And look at these, they're huge. Very nice. Fresher than the last one I had, which is really perfect. I'm going to enjoy this. Totally different than the last one. Yeah. juice too. We've come to Harris Farm Markets this morning because we had an inkling we might be able to grab a coffee here but actually as a grocery store it's a pretty cool place. It stocks only local produce within 150 k's or so they tried to do. The chain itself has been around since 71 but the one here in Albury has only been open for a couple of weeks and it is the largest in the southern hemisphere. I think we might have to have a look around. I see Donna's favorite things of all time. The spud. There's a whole spud shed. It's awesome. <laughs> So, wow, um, never really known a supermarket to have a coffee shop in it. It's not only a coffee shop, it has a whole row of beer taps as well. So there's a pub in a supermarket in Australia. That's pretty cool. 
Not only do they have a coffee shop, which doubles as a bar, they have a fish and chip shop, they have a donut store, which in a couple of weeks we'll have gluten-free donuts for Dana. We might have to come back. There's an ice cream shop, and the sections are massive. So much cheese in the cheese section. Even the kombucha section is bigger than your normal milk section. Now we've got our coffees, and I'm pleased to say they are delicious. So after we left the Harris Farm Markets with our coffee, we came here to the Retro Cafe, which is a council-run cafe in the center of town. And we got some delicious breakfast. What did you have? I had some smashed avo with a poached egg, ah, gluten-free yeah. bread. That looked really good. It was pretty good. And yeah. you had a bacon and bacon egg roll. Bacon and egg roll, it was delicious. The bun was so soft. Oh, I loved it so. It's a bit of a youth space here. There's a pool table inside and a piano that you can play in. Kind of a cool place. Right in the center of town, on Dean Street, there's a lovely art museum called the Mama. The Murray Art Museum, Albury. Walk in now and check it out. Unassuming cupboard. Surely that's not part of the art installation. Oh wow. How cool is that? Definitely come in here to open those cupboard doors because they don't look like they're part of an exhibition but they hide some cool stuff. So we've come to the old Bone Giller Railway siding. Clearly isn't in use anymore because the tracks don't exist. But this is where, after World War II, the migrants would come from Europe on boats. They would eventually be taken on trains from Melbourne all the way up to here and jump off, head over to the area that is now a Bone Giller migrant experience that is open from Sunday to Monday at the moment due to COVID. December 1947 onwards, they would come here to be processed if they were displaced persons or migrants. And then from 51 onwards, general population from around the world would come here also. But yeah, originally it was refugees and displaced persons. If you happen to be around these parts on a Saturday, Sunday or Monday at the moment, you can go to the Bone Giller Migrant Experience. But unfortunately, it's all locked up today. In there, they've managed to keep one of the blocks, the original blocks, how it was then as a, as a museum. My, uh, my grandfather on my mother's side came through here in 1940. 49, I believe. They've obviously ripped up tracks. It's now a road. But yeah, we're only 10 kilometers east of Wodonga in Victoria. So not too far from Albury at all. How original is this? Passengers desiring join trains at this station are requested to exhibit the red flag in daylight and adjust the red glass and light lamp during darkness. Must have been in there. Tickets may be obtained from the guard who will accept parcels and furnish any information. We do not use that term anymore. He will accept parcels. <laughs> That's great. So if you are near the Hume Dam, you should come take a look at this place. It's just along the Murray Valley Highway, directly across from Hillendale Court. And it's less than 100 meter drive up a little dirt track beside a bus stop. to Currajong Gap Lookout so that we can have a look over Lake Hume here which is a huge lake in the area just beside Albury Wodonga. Incredible. Such a nice view. We were over on the other side before right beside the lake where the weir is having a look at that huge big wall where they can control how much water comes in and out of the Murray River. Mm. Anyway I think this is a good spot to end our Albury video. If you would like to see more videos from us please subscribe below and we've had a good time here. I think you should uh pop into Albury if you're driving through. It's between Sydney and Melbourne, so it's not exactly too far out of the way if you happen to be doing a bit of a tour of Australia. Anyway, we will see you in the next one. See you later. Wow, that's so close. Um. <laughs> How do I look?
dark. Completely, nice completely to... out of focus. Oh yeah, sign in. That works. <laughs> fresh and fresh. And it's the largest <laughs> in the southern hemisphere.